In this video, I'll show you how to pair your Beats Studio Buds with your PC Windows computer, no matter what model. It's very easy and in just two minutes, you'll be able to use them. So first step is to put these in pairing mode. Open the lid, make sure that your buds are inside of the case and you should see this light over here blinking white. This means that it's in pairing mode. If it's not blinking white, like in my case, you simply need to press this button inside during five seconds and only release it once this light is blinking. Okay, it starts blinking, I can release that button. Then place this aside and do not close the lid of the case. Okay, I'll place it here. And on your PC computer, you simply go into the start menu here, then select settings, select devices, select on the left side Bluetooth and other devices, press the plus icon here, press Bluetooth, wait a few seconds, and you should see your Beat Studio Buds appearing in this list. Click on them, wait a few seconds, and they are now connected. That's it. You can now use them with your Windows computer. Now let me show you how to actually operate your Beat Studio Plus. It may be hard to notice, but if we take the earbud, each of them is marked left and right over here. So this is on the back, this is the ear tip, and right over here, I know it's hard to see, but you're gonna see an R for right and an L for left. This one is R, so I'll put it in my right ear. This other one, if I turn it, it's for the left ear, because there is an L. Therefore, let me show you. I simply need, first of all, to put it directly like this, no matter how, in which position it is. And then what you need to do from this position is to turn the earbud counterclockwise like this until it locks in place. This way, even if I'm talking, eating, or even shaking my head, well, this will never fall. So in the box, once you purchase them, you're gonna notice they came with this small USB cable. It's very small, I wish it was bigger, but the biggest problem is not this, it's the fact that it does not come with a charger. So how do you charge them? Well, first thing that you need to know is that you cannot wireless charge the case. So it's not like the AirPods Pro where you can simply put it in a wireless charging mat and they charge overnight. Here you absolutely need to use the USB type C port that is located under the case. And to charge them, first of all, make sure that they are inserted here and that they are properly inserted. If not, it won't work. All right, close the lid. And now you have multiple choices. You can use the cable that they came with, that is a USB type C to USB type C. In this case, you need a USB type C charger like the one I'm having right here. And by the way, I'll put Amazon links in the description if you want to get one of these or a longer cable like the one I'll show you in just a few seconds. Connect this to this. And finally, plug it into a power source. You'll notice that there's a small light over here that will be red, simply telling you that it's now charging. Obviously, you can also use a much longer USB Type-C cable, especially if you want to charge them and you're at a desk and obviously the plug will be on the wall down below and you're up here. Well, this is the cable that came with my MacBook. As you see, it's very long. And you can obviously use one of these. Just make sure that is USB type C to USB type C. If we talk about charging time on these, it's very cool because with only five minutes of charging, let's say they were completely dead, you can get up to an hour of playback time. This is if you do not use the, the noise canceling feature. So if you do not use that, you're good to go for an hour with only five minutes of charging. If you want to fully charge your beats Studio Buds, then you'll be able to have up to nine hours of battery life on one earbud. 
and if you use the case to charge them you'll be able to add and to get up to 36 hours this is what beats is saying and obviously you'll get these numbers if you do not speak on the phone if you don't use noise cancelling or transparency mode if you use those features you'll obviously get less hours of usage when using them if you close the case and the light here is turning to red it simply means that the case battery is less than 40 percent so you need to charge the case so imagine i'm wearing this in my ear if you're receiving a phone call and you want to answer you just have to press one normally on the button that is on the side of your earbud located where the logo is like this this way you enter the call if while this call is outgoing you have a second call and you want to take it again you just have to click once to take the second call the first call will be put in on hold when you do this if somebody is calling you and you want to reject the call you just have to press and hold about two seconds and you're going to hear in your earbud the call being rejected and then you can lift your finger from the button if somebody is calling you and you're answered and you're talk to this person and you want to switch between these earbuds and your iPhone so you uh, take the call on your iPhone instead you can press twice on this button while the call is outgoing to switch between the earphones and send the call to your iPhone instead now how to control your music using these Beats Studio Buds well very easy first of all to play or to pause any audio that is on your phone computer or whatever you just have to press once this beat logo like this and you're going to feel a small click this is the button clicking and the song will play to pause press on it again if you want to skip to the next track you just have to double click this button quickly like this it will go to the second track and you can do this multiple times until you select the track you actually want to listen to if you want to listen to the previous track you just have to press three times quickly instead like that one two three and you go back to the previous track now how do you change the actual volume on this because they don't have any volume buttons right well let me show you there's actually four different ways on how you can do this and some of these modes are not enabled when you get them out of the box you need to enable it on the phone so let me show you what i'm talking about first way to adjust the volume is to simply wear them and once you wear them you can say hey siri turn down the volume or hey siri drag up the volume and this way you'll be able to adjust the volume without you having to take your phone out of your pocket or touch anything you can if you have an apple watch you can also use the crown of your device to adjust the volume when you're wearing these beats studio bot pretty cool there's also the classic way on how to switch the volume which is simply using your phone buttons up and down or if you drag uh, from your iphone from the top right corner you're gonna see an icon which are your beat studio buds here and this way you can drag and up and down the slider you can also switch the volume directly on them without the phone without your voice without an apple watch how to do this very easy wear them let me put this in my ear and now what you need to do well we don't need a case is to take your phone that they are connected to open the settings then over here you should see beats studio buds on top if you do not see it go on bluetooth press your beat studio buds icon on the right side here it's the same thing and you'll get at the same spot and then once you're here go down click on press and hold and then you need to enable volume control over here like that and what does it mean is simply when you press and hold either the left or the right earbud you can adjust the volume up and down so if you press 
So if you keep press the left earbud, the volume went down, you see? Let me press the right side and the volume is going up. You just need to keep press the button on the side of your Beat Studio Bud and it will act like a volume button. This way, again, you won't have to use your phone or your voice to adjust the volume. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.